Julie. Hey, Tony Charlie. Therapy. Thank you for um, giving us a call. And this must be Safira. Yes. Okay, I thank you for properly filling in the paperwork I emailed you last night. That's always helpful. Okay, so I have had a read <coughs> through here. So she's nine years of age. She's a female. She's been to six, four months of age. Um, she's 9.5 kilos. Um, we'll get to this the details are there. So she's fed every morning and she's on a diet. Uh, so she's fed separately to the other dogs. Yep. How many dogs do you currently have? Five, six. Okay. Um, she's friendly. Yes, okay, just going through her issues here. In, 2000, in August 2017, she had an episode of HGE. How did that go? It went well. Did, went she, well. Yeah. did she require any vet treatment for that? Or did she recover from that at She home? recovered for that. Okay. That She's had surgeries. So when she was seven months of age in September 2010, she had a surgical repair of the medial humeral condyle fracture of the left forelimb. How did she do that? Running around. Wow, <laughs> turn, pretty, turn very sharply. That's a pretty significant injury for a young dog. Um, so she went to the specialist centre and had yep. that fixed. And then I see in uh, July last year she had a mast cell tumour removed. <coughs> yes. Uh, any further? Any further tumours or lumps noted? No, there's one little one on her tail. Okay. So she's got scars, you've said she's got one on her right hind leg, I'm assuming that's from the tumour removal. Yep. And on the left fore leg, I'm assuming that's because of the fracture she sustained. Yep. Okay. So her lump, so she's had her mast cell tumour removed from her right thigh, arthritis. So she's got hip dysplasia, so x-rays have been taken in June 2016, yep. is that correct? Yep. yes. Okay, and dental problems, she's had 12 extractions in June 2017. Yes. And the remaining teeth have been cleaned and scaled. Yes. Okay, her eyes, so in August 2017, she was diagnosed with dry eye. Yes. And she's been saddled on cyclosporin drops, one tablet, one drop twice daily to both eyes. How does she cope with that? Well. She copes okay? She copes quite well. All right. Except for putting them in. So the cyclosporin um, basically is an immunosuppressive drug. Did the vet <coughs> discuss much with you when they started her on the, on the medication? A little bit, yeah. Okay. So the side effects commonly reported are vomiting, anorexia, diarrhea. Did she have any? Did she had any of these? No. Oh, that's okay. That's good. All right. So what are your main concerns? I see here um, you've noted that the dry eye is not as effective now with the medication. No, it's not. And her hip displays, yeah, she's currently doing well, but occasionally she seems to be lame and sore in the hindquarters. Yes. And I believe she's a little bit less active than normal. Yep. Okay, so they're your two main issues. So she was a rescue dog and she came from a puppy farm when she was five weeks of age. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is if you can pop her on a lead <coughs> and I'll ask you to walk her in a straight line for me. Um, up and down this path's really good, so it's flat ground. So what I'll get you to do is just to walk her and we need to video this so come down and then go down low. You don't mind us videoing do you? No, it's fine. Okay so if you could walk her in a straight line for me. Walking preferably but that's all right. If that's how she normally, is that how she normally walks? Yeah usually. Turn around and bring her back. Sure. We're going to get the She obviously is quite excited about going for a walk. She's excited. So if we can get her walking for the straightness, that would be really helpful. Yeah, we'll turn around and go back this way. That would be really useful. Going out there. No worries, thank you. Now I'm just going to say hello to Safira. Oh, it looks like she's quite a social dog, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you? Oh, you are excited. 